Hello everyone and welcome back to Potty Plant Entertainment. So, um, if you watched my video that I uploaded yesterday, you know that I said I was going to dedicate this whole day to getting out reviews. And I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to make a lot of videos today. If I'm wearing the same clothes in them, I'll apologize. I might switch hats to make them a little different. But, uh, because I've done that in the past where I just switch a hat so that the thumbnail didn't look the same. But, um... Yeah, so uh, I'm going to do a new views, movie reviews. I'm going to show you all this cool thing that I bought yesterday. And then I'm going to get back to work on uh, all my individual reviews. I'm currently working on No Time to Die. So that one I might be uploading tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, new views, movie reviews. So, uh, the first one I watched recently was... This is the only one here that I don't own. The rest of them I got a DVD here to show you. Uh, is Mars Attacks. I watched this on Netflix the other day with my girlfriend. This is a movie that I, I've i known about for a long time, but I never bothered to watch it. Um, and then I, my, I was with my girlfriend the other night. She wanted to watch 13 Ghosts. I really don't want to watch that movie. It doesn't look appealing to me at all. Um, and, but we settled on Mars Attacks, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Jack Nicholson was pretty, pretty charismatic, as he always is, I mean. Um... It was a really fun movie. The special effects are terrible. Uh, it's such a dumb movie, but I, I liked it. I enjoy every minute of it. I'm gonna give it an eighty. Uh, the next one I got here, and I'm talking about these out of not in the necessary order that I watch them in. Um, One hundred and twenty-seven hours uh, with James Franco. I remember when this movie came out, um, but I I think my parents might have gone to see it. I'm not sure, but uh, I didn't. And so I watched this just recently, and I really liked it. It's a Danny Boyle movie. He, he's a phenomenal director. Uh, 28 Days Later, so good. Uh, he also directed uh, uh, Slumdog Millionaire, which is a pretty good movie. Um, I really like this. James Franco was great in it. I can see why he got the Oscar nod. Um, I, I'm kind of amazed at how entertaining they managed to make this, considering that... It's a character who stays in one spot and doesn't move. He never moves. He can't because he's stuck. Um, and they managed to make that as entertaining as possible because you would think at some point that would get really boring, but no, it doesn't. And then when the scene happens, uh, yeah, I was biting my shirt, uh, but uh, they managed to be reasonable about it. Like, it was just a bunch of, like, cuts and stuff um i heard that like some people were passing out during that scene when this movie came out which is you you gotta be pretty weak N not judging but it, it's really not that bad okay um but it, yeah it was it was something um i really love this movie i'm gonna give it a 95 the next one i got here is uh oh man this movie i watched the usual suspects Wow. Uh, this was great. This was really, really great. Um, the twist is one of my now one of my all-time favorite movie twists. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You've never seen this movie. And don't let anybody else spoil it for you um, if you haven't. Uh, it is phenomenal. Um, I think the only problem I had with it is that maybe it wasn't quite as engaging as I wanted to be. I'm not really sure, uh, but for me it wasn't quite perfect, but I feel like maybe if I watch this a second time, I will think it's perfect. Um, I'm going to give this a 95. This was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I miss Kevin Spacey back when he was at like the top of his game with like, uh, uh, he made, he was an American beauty. And stuff like that but now for obvious reasons no one wants to cast him anymore and i understand completely don't get me wrong but it's just that like him back in the day he was really a phenomenal i mean he really is like a phenomenal phenomenal actor and that, that might be why he's so weird i don't know i saw joe rogan talk about it once that was an interesting point um uh let's see uh, stephen baldwin is in this which is a guy you don't see in a lot of movies and when he is in movies they're not good um but i, I love this i'm gonna give him 95 all right the next one i got here is well i guess i can stick this back up here while i'm sitting right next to it next one i got here is and you saw this in my dvd update that i did yesterday uh scream 
So I watched this uh, with some my girlfriend and some friends, and I really enjoyed this. This was a fun. This was a quite a fun movie. It doesn't take itself seriously. And I mentioned my DVD update that I did yesterday that maybe it should have taken itself a little bit more seriously, but maybe that would have taken something away from the from the aesthetic of it, if I'm even using that word correctly. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, 85. It was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the new one that's coming out, even though it's probably going to be terrible. All right, next one I got here is Dances with Wolves. Uh, this is directed by Kevin Costner. It's a Best Picture winner. Um, I really like this. This was really good. Um, maybe it pours it on a little thick at times. But this was really good. There's also this, like, one of the best parts of this movie was this fantastic scene where him and the Indian tribe are chasing down like a herd of buffalo. Boy, was that great. I mean, that was really, really good filmmaking. This is a fantastic movie. It, it's one of the, I think people got sick of these types of movies at some point where you put the white person in a different culture and make a movie about that, like The Last Samurai. I remember, like, I know The Last Samurai was a movie that some people gave it crap for being one of those movies, but I like those movies because they're always really good. I, I like movies where you see a person exploring a different culture and getting wrapped up in that culture. Avatar did that. I mean, I, I, I like that. Uh, I'm going to give this a 95. Next one I got here is uh, the... I, I thought it was about to fall out. The Irishman. Uh, this is Martin Scorsese. Do you say, is it skate? Is it Martin Scorsese or Scorsese? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Either way, I love this movie. This is one of my favorite Scorsese movies. Uh, I a lot of people didn't like this for some odd reason. Just like The Aviator. Why did pe a lot of people like The Aviator? This is fantastic. Um. I found this super entertaining. The CGI, we gotta talk about the CGI. So one of the things that people were really worried about with this movie is that because it takes place over the course of like several decades, they had to de-age the actors. And you know, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, and Joe Pesci, they're pretty old, right? And this only came out just a couple years ago. They're really old. Um, and so they had to de-age them and they would slightly take away that CGI as the movie went on. So you see them get older and older. But the de-aging technology in this movie is fantastic. At first, I thought it was a bit distracting, but I got really, at some point I didn't even notice anymore. And I remember there was times where I was like, are they CGI'd right now? I can't even tell. Like, it's the best de-aging technology I've ever seen. Uh, it's far better than that really terrible Luke Skywalker appearance at the end of season two of The Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, that was atrocious. No, nah, this is, this is why I love movies. I love this movie. I'm going to give this a 100. I absolutely love this. The Irishman, yes, this is this is filmic. And this is why I love Martin Scorsese. He just, he continues to inspire me every time I watch one of his movies I've never seen before. And I'm looking forward to, uh, what's that new movie he's got coming out? Some, it's got the word flower in it, whatever it's called. Anyway, anything he, he releases, I'm looking forward to. All right, so next one, we got three movies here. Uh, it's The King's Speech, Lion, and the imitation game. So let's start with the. Let's we'll just go down the list here. So, the King's Speech. Uh, this was directed by Toby Hooper, who also made Cats. Now, if you don't, if you're not familiar with any of his other work, uh, that's probably an immediate turnoff for you. However, this is a fantastic movie, and Toby Hooper is a phenomenal director. He also made Les Miserables, which I haven't, I haven't watched that since middle school, but I remember it being really good. Um. He's a phenomenal director. What happened with Cats, I don't know. That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but this I loved. Uh, Colin Firth was really good in it. So was Jeffrey Rush and uh, uh, Helen Bonham Carter. They're all really good, and, and they're good in everything they're in, let's be honest. Um, I really, really like this. I'm going to give this a 95. Uh, next one we got here is Lion. I just watched this one last night. Uh, this is These are all true stories. Um, Lion was different from what I was expecting it to be. So almost the first hour of it is uh, Dev Patel's character as a child. And then the rest of it is him as an adult. And I thought the movie was going to be about where like, I thought this is how I thought it was going to go. You're going to get about 10 to 20 minutes of him as a child. Right. And then the rest of it was going to be about him going on his adventure 
find his family. Well, that wasn't what this movie was at all, actually. It's not... When he goes to find his family... Okay, so he, he does, like, his research, he finds them, and then he just goes there. Right? So, it, it's based on a true story, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. Um, it's more about his adventure as a child, right? That's the adventure part of this movie, by the way, is all the stuff when he's a child. And then all the stuff when he's an adult is him feeling conflicted internally about the whole situation. And then finally deciding that he needs to go do something about it. Um... But I really liked it. I'm going to give it an 85. It was really good. Um, Dev Patel. How in the world do you bounce back this hard from The Last Airbender? Uh, you you got to give it to him, man. Right? Really, good job. And then last but certainly not least, we got The Imitation Game. I loved this movie so much. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was amazing in it. Um, it's So, in case you don't know, it's about uh, a guy who cracked Nazi codes during World War II. Uh, and so the Allied powers were able to use that to beat the Axis powers. And some people say, as it says in this movie, that he cut the war down by two years. Now, my grandfather fought in World War II. I think he went to Germany. No, he did go to Germany. Um, and it's crazy to think that if it wasn't for this guy, I might not even be here. How crazy is that? That Like, that's really crazy to think about. Um, he, uh, he, he was gay. And he ended up ultimately committing suicide over that. Um, but he kind of saved the world. And he's the father of AI. Uh, he invented the computer. Like, it's really, really phenomenal. If you don't know the story of Alan Churning, you you should. I've heard that this movie is pretty inaccurate. But uh, it's a really fantastic movie. And you should do some research on the guy. He, he, he pretty much saved the world. Like, really. Um, yeah, really, really. It's a story that deserved to be told. Um, all right, so that's it. Uh, yeah, an extended, uh, new views movie review. I know because it's been like a few weeks since I've done one, so that's fine. All right, so yeah, uh, back to work for me. Uh, this is my YouTube day. Uh, really, I, I, I said this, I thought this like yesterday or the day before. I was like, okay, Sunday, I need to make these reviews. So, gotta work on that, get those out. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pine Planet Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave your movie visions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Pine Planet Entertainment for channel updates. And, uh, again, I know, uh, Christmas is here, pretty much. Uh, so, I, if you want to get a head start on my Christmas reviews, uh, I got a playlist for those on my channel, and I'm going to be doing some more of those. Uh, right around Thanksgiving, maybe right after Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah, much love. Check this out, huh? Huh? Yeah. Dig the setup? Let's see. Go red. Do this. Wait. It's not responding. Respond. There. Okay. Let's make it orange. Okay, I'm trying to like make you look cool here and you're not doing me any favors. Orange. Yellow. Red. Okay, well this is great. Okay, I figured it out. You have to point it down here. I'm gonna get it to focus okay now I can do whatever yeah pretty cool setup